Hey, welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior 5, The Dragon's Gambit. So, in the last episode, we took on the first couple missions of the DLC and did okay. Uh, the biggest issue we run into now is we're going to have to go into battle immediately, which means I can't repair the Agincourt. It's uh, sustained quite a bit of damage to its side torso, so I'm repairing that. It's going to take nine days, so it's pretty much out of commission for now. Off camera, I went ahead and bought the, uh, I think it was a Grand Dragon. Yeah, this one. Uh, looked like it would be a lot of fun. It has some really cool weapons on it. Uh, we've got multiple pulse lasers and a large laser and a bunch of SRM ammo. So, you know, it, it dishes out a lot of damage. And it's got pretty much max armor, which is really good. Uh, other than the head. The head's a little low. Um, if we had time to repair it, I probably would make some changes to it just to make it a little bit more viable. But for what it is, it's actually a really solid mech. I might even be the one to use that. I'm not sure. Uh, we have also have to do something with the other mechs we've got. The Antlis lost some armor. I don't know if it's enough to be a problem. The Black Knight... It basically had 10 points taken off. Um, it's such minor damage that it's fine. It can go in the next mission for sure. I do have a Thunderbolt also that's decent. It's good with missiles. And then I've got a whole bunch of other mechs. Um, some that we've done things with, others we haven't. So, you know, I may go ahead and repair the Atlas D and then put in the RS in place of it. It's not as strong uh, from a damage standpoint. I think, yeah, 118 versus, uh, what is it, 148. So it definitely doesn't dish out as much damage, but uh, it's still solid. This one I haven't actually done anything with, so I need to do something. Same thing with the, I think, both crabs, yeah. In another playthrough, I'd already rebuilt all these, um, but I have it in this one. And then the uh, Corsair, you know, we could probably use a few parts, although I've done some stuff with it, so it doesn't really need it severely. So depending on what the tonnage is available to us, I might be taking out the Grand Dragon. It's one of the, is it Otomo, Tommy, something like that. Um, it's one of the variants from the DLC and uh, from a particular faction. It's really cool though. Basically is like a hero mech. It's really close. So let's see, you've lost 50 points. Really though, 50 points isn't bad considering where it lost it. Let's look at the loadout. We might, we might repair you, we might just wait. Yeah, nine there, three there, a couple points here and there. You know, really, it's not enough damage for me to get too upset. I think, uh, especially the torso area, I mean, we lost a decent amount on this arm. Or this uh, torso, but it's not that bad. So I think, uh, well, what would it take to repair it? Three days. You know, I probably could repair it and then... You know, just do like a three-day repair on it, and by the time we get through the missions, unless it's immediately right after, I think we'd be okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and repair this one. Uh, at worst, I could always back off the repair. Uh, Black Knight's fine. Ten points across the whole mech is not a big deal. Agincourt was pretty beat up. Uh, I charged in. I shouldn't have. I need to be a little bit more careful with uh, damage. I've got the dragon, though, so I could always take it in place of it. It is lower tonnage, but only by ten. And, uh, you know, it's, it's decent. It's a brawler. It's what I like to play as. I've also got the Battlemaster we can take in. So I think we're okay with what we are right now. Let's look at, let's see, transmissions. Okay, so this is just all of the other stuff that we can do. We must be after the start date of all those. So uh, for this playthrough, we're not going to worry about those. I will hit those up in my modded playthrough that, you know, I paused for a little while, so. All right, mission briefing. Let's see. We've got a new sit rep just hit my desk, and it's a whopper. Unlike the Combine Febcom, ain't shy about hiring some heavy-hitting mercs. Okay. Uh, let's see. What are we doing here? So they have, they have some gear stashed inside the city. Scoop up the Caballeros encrypted files. We get our hands on those, and we can crack them open and gain the upper hand. Okay, so what kind of mission... Is, is this like a destruction or... I mean, I, this may be a new mission type, I don't know. It's called Hit and Run. Let's see. Honestly, money is becoming a problem. I had to burn 10 million sea bells for the Grand Dragon, which was fine. But, you know, now we're down to 56. 
and we've got a 1.7 million due soon so uh, I think we'll go full money or maybe how about like this that way we can at least take a weapon and yeah we know that uh, you two are not gonna go now with us taking the dragon out I might be able to actually squeeze in a fourth mech we've been taking just the three uh, black knight's fine I could repair it but there's no point it take it took so little damage do I want to take let's see what do we got we've got 65 and 50 so we could take pretty decent size heavies I could take the Thunderbolt and then probably maybe the grasshopper okay so you got the Thunderbolt how are you you're good with with everything that it's got except for the missiles but you're not horrible I might switch out your pilot that might be someone else and then stab yarn now we could do Wallace we can work on Bauer Bauer's kind of crazy though I don't know what what her deal is but she has a tendency to get killed so let's not necessarily put her in although her defense is really high uh, as long as we don't give you ballistics okay so we got 50 tons to work with I don't know if we have anything that will fit that I don't think we do yeah, everything else is big. I think the two smallest mechs we could have, we put in already. So, does it make sense to go? I don't think it makes sense to go with the Thunderbolt. If we're going to have to have a heavy header. I mean, gosh, we're giving up 30 tons. Ugh. I wish I had another mech ready to go. I mean, I could take... The, well, maybe let's do this. Let's try this. Let's give me the Corsair. I'm pretty good with it. Okay, and that still gives us 80 tons for someone else. So we just won't do three. We'll do... I think we'll put in the Battlemaster. It's got some missiles and some really good lasers. And we're actually over by one, so that's fine. I would prefer to be over than under. The only thing that's bad about the Corsair is I'm slow. My top speed... It's 55. Yeah, so it's not going to be fast. I hope... Man, the fact that it's called Hit and Run... I just feel like I need to be in something quicker. And I don't think I have anything that's actually all that fast. What are you? Your speed, 64. That's better. The Night Star is going to be slow. Yeah, it's not going to work. Thunderbolt, 64. What does the dragon do? Dragon does 81. We're going with the dragon. Which means maybe we don't do you. Maybe we put in an atlas. We've got all that tonnage. We might as well put one of them in. Okay. So I'm 15 under. I think this is a little better. We're our 60. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, we will wait the one day. Now, why are we waiting a day? Oh, it says it starts in one day. Well, what can we get away with him then? Can we... Do you have enough damage to where it's going to take more than one? Oh, see, no, he can, we can just repair him. Okay. It's being worked on. Wait the day. Nice. Okay, so we got him full. I wish I had two Akin courts. I like, uh, I like the archer. Commander, clock is ticking on this one. You need to recover the encrypted files belonging to the Caballeros located inside the city. Sensors are going haywire, tracking mercenary forces up ahead. Oh, goody. Expect bold moves, but this is foolish. Cabreros cut this thief's New target assassin. In okay. Don't let them scare you. Smash through them. Yeah, let's... Target acquired. Let's let them beat them up a little bit before we engage. Yeah, keep hitting them with missiles. And I got a large laser you can have, and some pulse. Alright, down. Another javelin. I know there's a guy to my right. Let's see if we can get him first. He's... you pretty hurt. Alright. Actually, no. Let's work on him next. Good. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Oh! 
Don't like the explosion. Okay, so let's see. Uh, infiltrate and go over here. Well, we've killed all the mechs so far. Destroy this. Don't want to accidentally uh, catch fire. Okay. What do we got going on over here? I just conducted another perimeter scan. The data servers containing the 17th encrypted files are located on the marked points. Okay. Get on it, Commander. We're getting it. You should be more careful about all you try and steal from. You brought this on yourselves. You won't be spitting much trash talk after your teeth are kicked down your throat. I don't know what that means. Okay, so there's more stuff we have to get, but it doesn't actually have a time limit, so... Uh, are we coming? coming Alright, where? This is one thing I really hate about uh, these missions. They will yell all the time that there are enemies coming. If you know that there's enemies coming, you should be able to tell me where. Like, I just saw it flicker. I know it's a Phoenix Hawk. Okay. As soon as I can see him. Oh, we got another guy over here, too. Firestarter. Okay. Oh, Alright, guys. Let's go. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab... Oh, what are you? Yeah. This is a problem. All right, I'm gonna go help my team first before I pick up the item. Let's see if we can knock out some guys. Okay, he's down. Let's go after him. Actually, no, let's go after him. And that'll help soften him up a little. There we go. All right, let's get him. Taking some damage, not severe, but you know, we won't be able to use this mech for the next mission. Alright, good. How are everybody doing? Eh, you know, we've taken some damage. I'll have the Agon Court back, so we'll just have to be careful about rotating mechs in and out between missions. Alright, that one's done. Right, everybody form up on me. I should have switched that maze, uh, I should have put it in one of my other pilots. That's okay, though. He's a good high enough pilot that it shouldn't be a problem. And I could probably speed in and out. Okay, good. I'm gonna grab this and then... Let's see if we can get out of here. Now what? Oh, it's way over there. Yeah, I had a feeling. We're moving as fast as a uh, dragon can go. The problem is, yeah. Uh, I don't want to fight an enforcer. We don't want to. Oh, what's that coming from the side? I'm gonna see if I can get in behind him. Alright, good. He's down. Ow, Warhammer. I can still probably run. Because it's there. The Orion's not a problem. And really, this isn't either. I'm gonna take your arm off. Ooh. I'm gonna keep, uh, keep on this guy. And get behind him. Alright, he's down. Can we go after him? Ooh, the Black Knight's taking a lot of damage. Alright. Gonna back off a little. If we can kill this guy, then maybe we can go ahead and go on. Ow. I don't wanna, I don't wanna just sit here. Come on, guys. Yeah, you should have no problem killing him. 
There it is. Okay. Let's get out of here. I'm sure they're going to drop more. I'm hoping with my speed I can get to the end fast. I mean, I'm talking about speed like I'm fast, fast. You know, I'm 81. I'm definitely not, you know, a light or a medium, but that's pretty good for a heavy. I mean, we're definitely hauling. What I worry about is getting too separated from my team, but if I can tag up, that's okay. Because uh, that Atlas is slow. It didn't take much damage, though. It was all the Black Knight, so... I have to keep managing my team as best I can. I thought we could outrun them, but I don't think there was any way we were going to in that one. We would have just been shot in the back, so... Alright. That, that wasn't so bad. I mean, we got a long way to go through the, to get through the uh, DLC. I think we're, that was mission three. I want to try to see if we can squeeze in two more. It depends on how much maintenance we have to do between each thing. But that wasn't super bad. I mean, they threw in some heavies, but we're still only doing it with three max, which is good. Because that means if we can do it with three, we take less damage, less repairs. Um, and we didn't get anything good on this one anyway. A spider is nothing. I wasn't expecting much. Um, I know there are hidden caches on a lot of the levels. I don't know if they're on every single one. If I come across it, I will get them. I'm not going to search for them. We don't have uh, the time, really. I don't I don't want to spend that much time going after them. Uh, I guess we'll go SRM-6 there, and for one point, what, a medium laser? Everything else we've got tons of. Except for machine guns. Oh well. I think that's good. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we took some damage. Everybody took a little. The uh, Atlas actually didn't do bad. So when do we leave? I guess I'll go look at the timeline. That's the easiest way to see. So, okay, mission starts in three days. So we're not going to have the Agincourt back. That sucks. I could repair parts of it and just go in like that, but... Uh, depending on what the mission is, let's look at the briefing. That was solid work. Uh, nabbing the intel. Let's see. Seek and destroy. So I think this is going to be a mission where we go in uh, attack targets. I don't think it's going to be a base destruction. Let's see. It's going to be arid to warm. Locate and destroy the targets and uh, take out any enemies in your path. What kind of tonnage are we talking? 260. So we can take some heavier stuff. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do real quick in the mech lab. Man, you took a lot of damage. I have a feeling you are out. Yeah, you're out for nine days. What what damage did you take, though? Like, what, what's the big thing? Okay, so a torso, you know, if we repair this one, it's immediately two days. That's four days. Five days. Ooh, yeah, okay, you're getting completely repaired. You just took too much damage. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, so you're out for nine. This is where the, the DLC kind of gets hard. Uh, the dragon, hopefully I didn't take too much. If I could just repair a little, I'd be pretty happy with that. It actually ran really well. Okay, so there's one day, one day, two days, we're still okay. Three, and that's only one point. And then the leg. Okay, we said it was three days, right? So what, uh, let's do revert. What do we need it the worst on? Definitely the arm. This one doesn't need to be repaired. It's only a point. That really doesn't need to be repaired. So if we do like this, that's two days. I definitely want to repair that. That's three. Can we get away with doing the other one? Okay, good. No, actually the torso is the worst. So let's, let's re rethink this. So that's two days. That's three days. That's still three days. I really want to get this leg. That's going to put us to four. And how many... We said we had three days to do? Is that what the timeline was? Yeah, we'll, we'll double check. Mission starts three days. Okay, so let's see. What do we want to do? I think it's worth it to take the dragon back out. 
I liked, I think it actually ran really well and I did a lot of damage in it. So what do we want to fix? This is not a big deal. I mean, it is, but it isn't. This we have to do. I feel like this leg is in this arm without a doubt. The other leg and the other torso is not that bad. It's just four points. This one I would like to repair. Okay, but that's going to be the one that kills us. So we're going to do the torso, that arm, that leg, and then I guess we leave the rest of it for now. That'll get us three days. Best it can do. That's not, that's not going to be super bad. The Atlas, I might just be able to repair it straight up. Yep. So that one's good. We also have, let's see, the Night Star. The Agincourt's going to be out for at least a few more days. Yeah, it's got eight more days. This will be three, and then I think the mission takes one or two. So it won't be back in action for a while. Same thing with the Black Knight. So on this mission, we'll probably go heavier, and I'll probably take out the Atlas, the Dragon, and the Battlemaster. That should work. Okay, so let's see if we can see if we can do that. So we'll do this, and again, I want mostly money. Five million sea bills is good. I like that. Extreme weather warning is in effect, Commander. You'll have limited visibility out there and have to contend with sensor malfunctions. Yeah, which isn't ideal. Let's see, you are really good though. What do I want to give you? I could give you an atlas, I could give you the battle master. You know, really, we could go heavier. Because this is going to be a seek and destroy type mission. How long for the D to be done? Shouldn't the D be done soon? Two. So, okay, so it'll be ready. We could actually take both. The only downside is that if I take both atlases and we lose one or that gets heavily damaged, then what? And they're slow. I think it'd be okay, though. But when we do have a crab, I could also take the Corsair... Uh, man. Choices, right? I wonder how many more missions we gotta do close together. We were we were under tonnage last time. It's difficulty 60. That's only 15 under. I think we were over tonnage by like a point last time. But this, this should be okay. I mean, I could always... I could always repair him. What happens if I... Since we're expecting a big battle... What if we do this? What if I take that? Oh, that puts us way over. Okay. I mean, I could go with Grasshopper. Grasshopper just does not do the damage I want it to, though. I think I'd actually rather be in... I could be the Thunderbolt. Eh. The question is, do we split up the tonnage? I could go Thunderbolt and, like, a Grasshopper. And the Dragon. It's only a difficulty 60. I think we're gonna go like this. Let's just go like we... Basically, you, you are in place of the Black Knight. You're a little slower, but you have more firepower. So, I think we can try like this. I think this will be okay. We'll wait the three days, and we'll get mostly healthy. I hate fielding mechs that are not at Time full. dial in. The intel recovered from inside Nansu allows us to identify a series of high-value targets. Advance into the area of influence and clear out the objectives on the marked route. Keep your heads up. The Caballeros are lurking. They sniff you out. They'll be on you like dogs on a bone. The oh, atmospherics and terrain could affect asset visibility. Keep moving and ensure positive identification of targets, Commander. Okay. I can't see a damn thing out here. Be advised, General. Reading hostile activity along target's route. Looks like oh, okay, Carlos we're we're already busy. You're cleared hot. All right, Come going after him. Let's kill him. Yeah, a punch is punch is great. Okay, he's done. Let's kill him. Right, he's done. Let's go after that guy. Tribs suck, so don't shoot me. All right, I'm gonna go after you. All right, 
Good, get one side off. All right, he's gone. How are we doing? Uh, we still got an enemy. I don't know where the other one went. Anybody see him? I'm sure we're going to run into him. I'm a little damaged on that torso. I'm not real happy with that. I couldn't repair it, but it's not severe. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object Ooh. to pick it up. Is this the hidden cache for the level? That's close enough. Ready to start something good, something good. Cargo acquired. Oh, a gauze. Yeah, I would say that's pretty good. Okay, so here's the question. We're at Nav Alpha. Where's the other enemy? There he is. Alright, good. I wish they would let us know where Alpha was and stay. <laughs> uh, don't listen to him, boys. It seems like Don Carlos is better at making threats than following up on them. Like, you know, in the original games, you could have, you'd have nav points and you could look at the map and see the nav point, regardless if you were at it or not. I kind of wish this game would do something similar. I feel like the, uh, you know, we we got to Alpha and it didn't really show where we were because it went away and then suddenly it's like, okay, well, where's, where's the boundaries for Alpha? I'd like to know. All right, are we in here? Okay. Yeah, don't shoot me. Okay. Yeah, let's kill the Phoenix Hawk. And the Blackjack. Actually, Blackjack first. I don't know which is worse, honestly. They both are. And if you want to punch him... Nice, okay. Let's kill him. Oh, sorry. I did not mean to shoot you. Alright, he's gone. Let's get back in. I don't want to go too fast. I also don't want to uh, use up all my weapons. I mean, I'm mostly lasers. But... You know, I don't really want to walk in there if I can help it. What are you shooting? Don't shoot that. Now shoot, shoot the radars, guys. Okay. You know, a repair bay would be wonderful. You know, with all the complaints since the first. You know, the first instance when the game came out, and then all the DLCs. It's a wonder that they didn't incorporate more missions with mech bay hangers. I mean, we had it on like one or two missions total. Maybe, I think we added it, had one mission in a DLC. But that was it. I can't believe that they just decided not to do, like they're not listening and just not doing more. It's, it's weird to me. I feel like mech bays were a big part of other mech games, but not really in this one, so it is what it is. It's not a big deal, and maybe they think it throws off the balance of the missions, you know, maybe they make them too easy, but I mean, there's ways of cheesing it. Look at how I play, you know, take an Agincourt and just about every mission and you're fine. Okay. Well, the missions have been okay so far. I can't really say that they're anything super unique. Alright, we don't know where the enemy is. Oh, hello! Okay, that was a marauder. Yeah, guys, if you can see, shoot. Oh, why is our guy stuck? I see him stuck. Yeah, we want to kill him first. One of my guys is going to get torn up from this because my other guy is stuck. Oh, he's almost hurt. Come on. 
All right, he's down. What is going on? Not you. Why are you not up here? Come on. Uh. All right, is he coming? Finally. You let my mech get beat up because I had to go and fix you. And they're dropping in more. Somewhere, right there. Okay, yep, Battlemaster. Look, I'll take the commando. That's fine. Alright, he's toast. Well, if I could hit him. Alright, he's gone. Alright, how's, how's that going? Yeah, Battlemasters have a lot of armor. And there's some more. Trying to get his torso. How are we doing? Uh, the Atlas has seen better days. Okay, he's down. I mean, if I could... That's not good. Alright, he's down. Alright, so the Atlas lost an arm. And his boys are out. Yeah, all right. All right, so we lost an arm, I think, on the Atlas. And I, I blame that completely on the Battlemaster. It got hung up for some reason. It, there wasn't even terrain for it to get stuck on, so I don't know what its problem was, but it was wiggling back and forth, and I had to switch to it, which meant I left everybody kind of out in the open. But we killed the guy, so maybe that'll end this little section. And let's see what we get. Nothing good, honestly. You know what would be nice is if I could turn in my salvage for more money. Like if I didn't want anything that was on the board, just be like, hey, uh... I mean, yes, you can sell the parts, but wouldn't it be nice to be able to just say, I don't want this stuff, can I just have some extra money? You keep it. All right, well, I definitely took some more damage, but I think uh, if I can keep squeezing more health out of this mech, I think I'm going to keep going in it. Um, Battlemaster did good, the Atlas did not, but that was not the Atlas's fault. And Meza's injured, so maybe it's better I didn't put a good pilot in there. Ooh, we got a K2. Ooh, a good K2 as well. That's some good weapons on it. I wonder how the armor... 400? I mean, that's not bad. Okay. So when's the next mission? Three days! Boy, uh, they are really pushing it. Okay. Well, we still don't have the Agincourt. That sucks. And the battle, or the Black Knight's out for a little while longer. We did just get a catapult. With PPCs, so that actually is really good for the, uh, the AI. The Battlemaster didn't take much damage, so I think... Yeah, as I said, I can just repair him. What if I do you? Six days. Okay, so we go back in and we repair the parts that need it. It's probably the same torso. Yeah. That's two days already. That's three days. All right, you're not going to be viable. You're a six day. That sucks because I really like this mech. Might as well just repair the whole thing. It's done in five. Oh, wait. No, it's not. It's done in six. Yep, I know. This guy, you lost half your weapons. That really is not cool. But we do have the Atlas D back, so I can put him back in. Battlemaster will be ready. I have a Thunderbolt available, and I could take the Corsair. So... Or the Catapult, actually. I don't like fighting with PPCs, but that wouldn't be bad. And it's got AC2s. You know, that could be a replacement for the dragon temporarily. I might do that, depending on what the mission is. Okay, so... And we, you know, we have a bunch of mechs. I could always work on a couple... You know, I could bring out a, a 2S. You know, why don't I do that? That might actually help. Or a Highlander. Or though Highlanders I've never had good luck with. They always lose the arms. Uh, what else we got? Wolverine... Now that one doesn't have any weapons, but it's it's in good shape. Uh, what else we got? The stalker. I could put a stalker in. 
Missile stalkers are pretty good. That would be, you know, that would be basically the same as the longbow, which still isn't ready. Would I would have been nice if I had known that we were going to be fielding mechs constantly. It didn't really I don't think it warned us. Someone in the comments did mention it, so thank you for that, but uh I don't think the game really said anything about it. Got another dragon, but it's definitely not as good as the one we got. We could look in the store again. I mean, that's probably the best best option. At some point, we're probably going to finish the missions on Vega and go to somewhere else, I would think. Is that I think we're on Vega, right? We got a banshee. Crappy banshee. Yeah, see look at all these low weaponed like they're low tiers. That's not great at all. Javelin Jenner. Just the one variant that was nice. The rest of them suck. Not that, you know, these are decent mechs. It's just that the tiers are really low. So even if I wanted to take them, I mean, they'll do okay. They just won't do great. Yeah, and this is the worst. I think this is, in my opinion, this is the worst awesome you can buy. Yes, it's got three heart points for lasers, but it's only got one PPC and one LRM. And you can't fit, I mean, you could fit a second PPC, but that's it. The uh, the one with three is better for the AI, because at least they're good shots with it. So, we're not looking so hot here. I could do this one. That Banshee's a laser Banshee. That's basically it, though. I mean, it's five lasers and that's it. I still want to get a charger, and I have in my other playthrough, so I'm excited to try that out again. Uh, it's a four energy. It's honestly tempting to put this guy over. But is there, you know, because I don't know, is there a reason to do that? Let's look at the timeline. I want to I want to look at some things real quick here. Let's see. All right. So the battle master will be ready. Then we have the mission. The archer will be done in five days. Black Knight in six. Dragon in six. Maze is out for the foreseeable future. I don't think they, they may not even come back in the playthrough. Although we're going to be moving. I mean, we're in Vega right now, right? Not that we can go anywhere, but... Ooh, and maybe we can do some of this stuff. Yeah, we can click that. That's fine. That's something I haven't even done, is I haven't actually upgraded anything. And we go ahead and turn this in, because I, uh, I don't use jump jets. Okay, well... I'll take the money. Alright, so... What's the plan here? I guess the dragon's out. We'll leave the Battlemaster in. We could take the Thunderbolt, the Atlas D. You know, I haven't even started repairs on you. I don't even know if I can repair you. Oh, look at all that stuff we lost. That sucks. I bet that exploded. And that's probably what took the arm, too. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Can we... Do we have any... Uh, probably don't have any large pulses, do I? Oh, I do. I have a couple. All right. Nice. I don't have that one. But, you know, missiles are not a big deal. We just need a 15. I mean, I have actually a better one. Tier 3 is fine. That's, that's close enough. The only thing that got me was the... Ha I think the half ammo hurt me, actually. Do we even need that? I mean, you have... You have one fifteen. You shoot four. Yeah, I don't think we need the half ton. I think I threw it in there just for some extra tonnage. But I don't think we actually need it. Although we have nothing else. I guess we just go with under tonnage for now. Because I don't think that half was going to do much. I don't think he got anywhere near using it all. I mean, how many shots would you have if you, I mean, out of 440... And you shoot 15. I mean, you're going to... Eh, you might run out. Can I buy one? The other thing is I could drop these two heat sinks. That gives me... If I drop these two, we put in one double. Now we have a ton and a half. The problem is I got no place to put it. That That's really what's getting me. Put it in the head... I don't really want to do that. I mean, what do we gain by doing that? I don't think we gained anything. Alright, let's repair all. 
Get rid of that, get rid of that, and that. I think for now, I think honestly I'd rather... Well, I don't really need cooling either. I was going to say I would just drop the tonnage down a little bit off of some of the components and then put in an extra heat sink, but I don't think there's really a need for it. I don't think we're hurting. We don't have enough tonnage to be able to put in... I mean, I could put in a 20, I guess, instead of a 15. That's 10 tons, and we've got eight, you know, we've got seven and a half. Nah, that's not going to work. Okay, so let's just go like this. We lose a tiny bit of firepower because it was a higher tier, I think. But that's it. That's not. But yeah, look at that. Forty days. Yeah, you're you're not going to be done anytime soon. So you're pretty much out of the battle for good. Maybe maybe we can do something with it later. Um, we really should do something with this guy. Although it's not bad the way it is. It's got 600 armor. Speed's horrible though. And we still have crabs that we can do stuff with. Yeah, I got my UAC crab. That would be a good one to upgrade if I could. I've got some, actually, let's spend just a second here. I've got a few UACs I could put on this, I think. Didn't we pick up a cache of like four? Thought we did. Yeah, well, I've got a... Well, not really. I've got two tier fives. Why are you missing a half ton? That's weird. This one's... I guess I've not done anything with this guy. Because it's... It's the way it was, I think, when I got it. Can Ultra AC ammo explode? Is that a is that a concern? I imagine it can. I think it can actually. So if I put it on one side, maybe that's better. I wish we had case. We really could use case right now. And your heating and cooling is awful. And your armor's not great either. I mean it's it's not bad, but like you could put more in the chest. Do we need so many missiles? I mean, we're going to need that. Uh, Ultra AC, 80 rounds. Do we need all of those? So I could put one here, although one hit and it's dead. I'm trying to think of how I want to handle this. I wish I had higher tiered ones. I mean, I've got a couple, but not many. I've got one tier three. Okay, and then I've got two tier fives. I guess for this playthrough, I mean, that's better. We still need cooling, though. At the very least, I need to put in some double heat sinks. But that's going to crank up our tonnage. Only half, though. That's not bad. Where do I lose it from, though? Do we need all the missiles? I mean, it uses a lot of missiles. I mean, it shoots 30 per volley if it shoots both. We're going to crank through that pretty quick. I guess... Uh, I guess I have to lose a little more off the legs. I hate to do this. What if instead of 15s we put 10s? That would give us a lot of tonnage. Because it's going to be using its cannons. I mean, we're not really going to be shooting... We're not going to be shooting that many missiles. It's great for closing distance, but really the auto cannons, the UACs are pretty good. We'll we'll do a little less damage overall. But then we have more sustained this way. Okay, that works out a lot better and we're not we're nice and cool then too cuz the unless they're firing all of it all at once, I don't think it's that bad. Okay, so let's max armor. And we still got two, so we can take a couple points off of you. There we go. Okay, so that leaves us two tons. We could put in more ammo. See, 80 times 3 is 240. Is 240 enough shots? Probably not. I would think we'd need more. So if I put in another one, we'll put it all here. Just hope that we don't get hit there. And then, because I know LRMs explode for sure. 
And then we still have one ton to put like maybe another couple heat sinks or another double. Put another double in. Can't fit it there though. Uh, if we put it here, that gives us more things they can hit. So it won't do, it may not explode. That's not bad really. 38 days sucks though. But what can you do? Okay. Yeah. I'm hoping after this mission, maybe we travel. And then we can uh, do that. Okay. Don Carlos and the Caballeros have bowed out, but we're not out of the woods by a long shot commander. Snord's irregulars have been given the green light to join the fray. Rhonda is a chip off the old block of her old man, Cranston Snord. She hasn't been in the driver's seat long, but she's looking to make her mark now that she's got the wheel. Okay. They broke off from the Wolf's Dragoons. All right, so they're there. The Commonwealth wants to take him to really dig their heels in. Okay, this is a scorched earth op. We can't let the Irregulars get their hands. Last thing we want to do is destroy our assets. Um, but we're backed into a corner. Okay, so I guess we've got to go and this is going to be, yeah, so a pair of bases. That's going to suck. What do I take in for this kind of mission with what we've got available? Can't, I mean, this would be the ideal. The dragon would be ideal. I'd love to have the dragon. Okay, you're out. We're at 290 now. Can we put in, I feel like we need to put in more people and more mechs. Uh, yeah, Bauer, crazy Bauer's going in. This guy's out, but you can have the Atlas D, I think. All right. I think this one's going to be good in time. This will not be. So what, do I, what am I going to take? I can take the Grasshopper. Or I could take... Because, I mean, it's decent. Four mediums, one large, an SRM4. I've got some... Some speed. 64. Not really exciting. And then that still leaves us some tonnage for something. Uh, man. I don't know. You know, we've got the Catapult. Let's... Do we, I don't want I don't want to take the catapult in. I want someone else to. So let's give Wallace. How are you with missiles? You're okay. Anybody better with missiles? Seven out of seven. No. Four, seven out of ten. You probably are my next best bet. Alright, so you're gonna take that. That leaves me 40 tons. Is it it's because we're taking the Atlas? Do we want the Atlas? Atlas is gonna be slow. What if we took the Thunderbolt? That'll give me, what, 85 tons to work with? So we could go slightly over. Uh, the Corsair's 95, that's 10 over. But that would be okay, but I'm slow. I think this might be better. At least we'll have four mechs to field. That'll be nice. Not the best pilots, but it is what it is. That's a lot of firepower. That's, I mean, that's probably better than the Atlas by itself. I don't like having the, I don't want to take the Grasshopper in, but I don't have a choice. It's the best option I have. So we wait the three days and then we go. I don't like to I don't like doing base destruction. It it's okay. They're just not my favorite kind of missions. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Commander, it's on you to disrupt the enemy's capability to seize a vacant 14th Legion base. Chusa Alesco's unit is set on another attack point to clear out another target. Damn shame it's come to this, but we're out of options. Please let this base be small. Tracking enemy mechs formed up in defensive positions at the vacant 14th Legion base. Roger that. Prepare for a fight. Your men are in deep trouble. Order them to stand down. No need for slaughter. Hit the base with everything you've got. Okay, well. Max. We've got your target, Commander. Alright, let's go get that guy. 
Then I'll, I'll let my team just kind of beat up on the base. We'll jump in together. I just know a crab is a lot of tonnage. Okay, good. So it wasn't as strong as I thought it would be. Alright, we got another one and another one. Alright, grasshopper. Grasshopper's not a big deal. Like, my grasshopper is scarier than theirs. Alright, can we... Alright, yep. Yeah. yeah, you're a pain. Go away. Alright, too many mechs all at once. Alright, how are we doing? My arms hurt. You are who we gotta focus on. Let's see if I can get in behind it. Good long hit on it. Alright, he's down. Alright, we clear now to start wrecking base. Oh, they're dropping more. Great. Yeah, everybody, uh... Yeah, they are. Working on it. Base down to 50%. Keep Problem is we got another base to do after this. It said a pair. Crab. The crab's not a big deal. The Vindicators... Well, neither one of these are that bad. I need to kill that. How are we doing on the base? 28. Alright, where are you at? Oh yeah, I've got jump jets. I can... Alright. Let's kill the Vindicator. Get his attention. Alright, that hurt him bad. Alright, he's gone. Let's kill you. Alright, kill him. Kill the crab. I missed. Alright, I'm gonna go kill the base, guys. Can you... Can you focus on him? Please? Someone? Bueller? All right, nice. Let's uh, let's work on this real quick. Let's get the base done. We're not going to last long if they keep uh, sending all this stuff at us. Okay. 1%? Okay. Nice. Hey, though, if we have help, that's great. Okay. We're going. I hate having to fight all these mechs, though, but if we don't... If we don't engage them, then they just circle in behind us and kill us. Focusing on issue target. Yeah, you get his attention. We got another guy coming to the right. Yeah, rain missiles down. I really don't want to fight him until I get closer. I'm going to try to go in behind him. You're getting closer, you're getting closer. What are you doing? I'm getting him into range of my weapons. He's down. Where is the javelin? Well, the javelin's not really coming after us, so... Form on me. Just watch your rear, guys. He's trying to make a move on us. We may have to backtrack. Yeah, we're gonna backtrack. Did I see him? He's coming up from behind. Yeah, kill him. Hopefully the, uh, the guys that need reinforcement can hold out for just a little bit longer. At least I put out some decent firepower with all the lasers. And I'm actually using the missiles for once, which is rare for me. But it works. I did play as a grasshopper in, in I think my very first playthrough. 
I think it was the campaign. Um, but I did pretty well with it, and I got real comfortable using it. Even though it's not the best mech out there, I know a lot of people don't like it. It is a, a workhorse. You can do quite a bit with it. And, you know, it's got a narrow profile, even though it's very, very tall. So it's not that bad. How are they doing? Oh. Let's get that thing. Oh, I don't, I don't want to fire on that, though. Oh, there's two of them. Battlemaster. The Battlemaster's hurt. Alright. Uh, I feel really nervous doing what I'm doing. Oh, if he's going to ignore me... I'm just going to blast him from behind. Alright. Alright. Hey, you don't look very good, actually. Although, you don't need arms to hurt me, so... Nope. Turn. Can we kill him? Or maybe I can? Alright, he's down. Nice. Alright, taking a lot of damage. Well, no, you said the base. Yeah, where'd our, where'd our friendlies go? I thought we had some friendlies. Oh, they're dropping over there. The awesome's going to be the biggest threat there. But if I can take this base down first... Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now what? Shadowhawk. Can we get the Shadowhawk first? Black Knight's not good either. Alright. Probably not what he was expecting coming around that corner. Alright, he's done. Man, there's a lot of mechs. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. All right. Let's let's dodge. Let's dodge that. Let's see if we can kill this because it's not letting us leave. All right, most of your weapons are off. All right, he's down. Uh, I'm not really. I'm not super worried about that. It's the. Uh, the awesome that we want. I'm gonna sit right here. And you know what? You just take pop shots at you. Get him back into cover. Let the awesome battle my guys. Alright, he's down. Definitely taking a lot of damage. I hope we have some travel time coming. Oh, good. He's a... He's a missile mech variety. I don't want to sit there and trade missiles with him, though. He's got two large lasers. Come on, guys. Let's get in there. He's really running. wonder why. That would be why. Okay, this is going to hurt. Yep. Gotta get out. Oh, need to get out. I don't turn on a dime. Alright, my arm's almost gone. Can we can we move in and get him? Get him, guys. Come on. My left arm's almost completely gone. Oh, okay, there we go. So he's lost everything but missiles. Oh, and hey, we're picking up right here anyway. Perfect. How did the catapult do? Demolishing your own assets ain't no reason to celebrate. Uh, could be worse. We, we might have lost a weapon. Celebrate no, we didn't. That was a rough set of missions. Nothing like doing two bases. Evac point designated. Fall back. When you're on board, cycle through maintenance and prep for the next assignment. Initiating evac Just let it be three to five days, because we really need... We really need, like, the Agincourt back. I don't want to have to buy a bunch of mechs. 
That was fun. I like that one. That wasn't too bad. So I think we just... That was the fifth mission of the campaign so far. So that we're a third of the way through it. There's 15 total. I was wrong before when I said 12. All right. Good amount of money. And, of course, we're not going to be able to pick up any mechs. And they're not really worth picking up anyway. We trashed them. Um, the ER lasers. Oh, and a large pulse. I want both of those. Medium laser... Uh, not really. I'll probably take that one. And anything else? Any double heat sinks or anything? Don't care about the short bursts. Don't need singles. I guess... Maybe a PPC? No, we'll do this tier 3 medium laser. Those are pretty good. Okay. Everybody did pretty well. The catapult took it on the ear. But we didn't lose it. It'll be out of commission probably for a while, though. I mean, in fact, all four of these, we've taken a lot of damage. Hopefully that was it for now. I would probably be wrong. Okay, the archer's going to be back. And we'll get the Black Knight, the Grand Dragon. Okay, so we're, you know, we're doing another mission right off the bat. But at least we're going to get some guys back. Phew. It's kind of uh, pretty intense, really. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.